it's not about devices, about hardware, but about software, especially about Windows 10 Mobile. I promised you to get a little bit more into details with the new software platform, but as you can see right here, it's almost exactly the same like you know. So the same principle with some gestures, you have all what you need, but there are, are, are of course some changes in detail. For example, that you can now have a swipe down here to toggle the navigation bar on or off. That's uh, of course very helpful in case you might have an app where this is disturbing over here. Or long press about that and then this upper half is dropping down like a note for example from iOS to get, especially if you think of using with one hand, especially this one is the Lumia 950 XL. That's huge. So the thumb has no chance to get on the upper half. So this is a good idea on the one hand. On the other hand, I thought in the first place, well, finally we have a split screen mode in Windows. But nevertheless, no, it's again not that one. We don't have any split screen mode, at least not at the moment. Yeah, long press under that button here. You will have, this is empty now because I just started again this, um, this phone, this device, but you can imagine how this is working here. And then click on that and you change tasks over here. And with that, that's search of course and uh, Cortana. So you, you know, yeah, ah, uh, we, we make that later, but you know how this is working here. Long press on that one doesn't uh, have any features, at least not at the moment. So this is uh, the unit over here. But on the other hand, if I uh, may uh, change your um, uh, view to, to this problem over here, especially on that yeah, um, info bar over here on the top. This is not staying uh, like it is like that, but the, the uh, home screen icons are uh, scrolling below kind of. So you might have uh, situations like this. White on white is not readable, of course. So it's sometimes a little bit heavy to read what you have over here. So it would have been better to leave it like that, like it's uh, uh, on that here. Even your search bar is aesthetic over here. You don't have battery um, left um, in, in percentage, just if you swipe down here. Okay, it's just one swipe, I know, and this is a date, by the way, um, uh, actual time. But nevertheless, it would have been better to see it like that, especially because we have uh, room, we have space over here, so why not? But by the way, when we are here with settings and and how it's looked like. Uh, it's the settings that's now looking on the first place, a little bit more um, overview, better overview because of these icons, but inside all of these, it's the same like before. So it's no, um, it's very clean, just text, but it's not uh, sorted by alphabet or by sense or by whatever, I do not know. So it's a little bit hard, especially if you're a newbie on Windows Mobile, Windows Phone, whatever you call it. Uh, it's a little bit hard to, to remember where do I find which one, especially because the main problem is staying exactly the same like before. I show you an example with a display settings. So the first one is here you have seen system display and here you have uh, brightness and whatever you want to do. This is the first. Then you have more display settings in personalization, especially on the start screen. I will show you a little bit later um, with that one here. And last but not least on extras uh, because here we have that advanced, oh no, sorry, um, that um, glance screen as it's called in English. Here you can have the settings for this one. This is the glance screen, what you see here in standby mode. Because you remember Lumia 950, 950 XL, this is AMOLED, meaning all these black pixels are, don't consume any power at all. This is dark gray, so almost nothing on, a, on, on, on power consumption here. So you can have this uh, glance screen with information of um, missed calls, new mails, um, whatever you have on here. And that's what you can 
um, a range here like I wanted to show in this gland screen control. Especially you can have a, what shall it do in night mode or while charging, whatever. So it's okay from the settings you have, but still you see um, you don't have one container where all about the display settings you will find or at least down here at the end that one of these blue um, links, let me call it like that, a more display settings or something, bringing you into the extras or bringing you into personalization, whatever. That would be at least what Microsoft should have done or maybe uh, just leave all these extras and so on alone and just have a plane like they did here with the apps. And that uh, what I really like, that simple. You can have a search, you have it alphabetically sorted here and everybody understands immediately. So why not with a setting? I don't understand that for so many years now. Well, it's Microsoft. Coming to the start, because some of you asked, what uh, can I do with that? Has there changed anything? And especially, what is the result of that? So, of course, you can have your own background um, uh, pictures here, resize them. That's something you know from former, from especially Windows Phone 8. Um, say, OK, and then this is not your new background, you see? background is moving a little bit slower than the icons here, semi-transparent or whatever. Um, I don't like it very much because you have these non-transparent icons uh, wherever they are. Of course, you can change th th this the same way you know it. Drop this, drag and drop, or of course, uh, like you know it from um, um, Windows 8, you can change the sizes and everything, but I don't like it very much. So for me, the best would be to say none, then it's extremely clear and especially like I told you, AMOLED, black background, you save power with that mode. So I would prefer this one, but of course you can do whatever you want to. I'm going back to these, um, 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 yeah, out of the box default background like this one that's uh, looking like that uh, when you just uh, turn it on for the first time. Yeah, um, what I wanted to show you too is we find here in settings uh, accounts and uh, here we are um, sign in blah, blah, see sign in options first I have to show okay. Here we are. Hello. Okay, it's beta, but nevertheless, it should be interesting for you because it's an iris scanner with the front camera. So once you have um, uh, scanned your eyes, then you can have your, um, your, your phone unlocked with that. And it's working like that. Press here because that's something I really miss. There's no double tap, tap to wake anymore. Double tap on the, uh, on the, on the screen. It was in the previous of mobile uh, Windows 10 and it was especially the, um, present on, um, on the predecessors, on Lumia 640, 640 XL. Now we only have tap to sleep. So you can have sleep mode, but no wake up. I don't know why they kicked it out of the final um, Windows 10, but now at the moment at least it's like this. Okay, I wanted to show hello with the iris scanner here. See, if I press a power button, then you have the red light of the front camera here. Then I have to go really, really close. And especially, I now drop down my, my glasses to have no problems with that. Okay, here you see the problem couldn't uh, recognize your eyes because now it's a little bit dark. So let me get this one again. And here now light my eyes. You see, in that moment, immediately, or well, let's say one about around about one and a half up to two seconds, if the light conditions are okay, the recognition is up to um, one and one point five two seconds, and even that, in my opinion, is too slow, because you know, um, statistically, you have your phone grabbed more than one hundred fifty times per day, 
So uh, immediately um, unlocking is not two seconds for me. So it would have been better to have a fingerprint sensor here or on the back side or wherever, but it's not there. So for me, it's nothing I would like to use in everyday life 150 times a day, no thanks. But you know, it's here and maybe it's getting quicker if it's not uh, beta anymore. So we'll see. But uh, the, the, the main uh, information, I guess, is you see it on the red light that the front camera is active and that's something that uh, I really appreciate. Yeah, coming to what have uh, um, changed, um, uh, like uh, I wanted to show you, is especially the um, battery here is not uh, in, in percentage, it's just with one swipe here, then you have percentage, date, time, but nevertheless it would have been, in my opinion, better, and especially you have the, the space over here in that info bar, I don't understand why it's not there, but again, it's Microsoft, they want to have it here, yeah, it's like that. And I wanted to show you the keyboard, because this one I really like, especially because you can have, first of course, or of course classical or that um, swipe uh, input or whatever, and especially you can switch the keyboard design and language over here just with one swipe vertically, or horizontally, sorry, over the space bar here, and especially you have the layout changed too. So for me at least, working in German and English a lot, so this is great. And I wanted to show you, let's go like that, a third line with that one, the German chicken, it's a Bavarian chicken, it's a handle, yeah. So I wanted to show this blue point over here. You might know the feature from um, older laptops because this is a, um, as you can see here, this is a cursor. So up and down and up now and left and right. So you can position the cursor right here, but I find it a little bit tricky because I have to change just one, like that, because if it's switching through, it's going a little bit too uh, rapidly for me. So I, I prefer this one single steps over here. It would be optimal if you have a setting uh, with an option, uh, speed and, and so on, where you could um, change the uh, sensitivity of this curse oops, no of this cursor here but at the moment you see it like that it's uh, okay and it's better than nothing but on the other hand it could be a little bit better on that case but let me now delete all this one here so uh, here we go you know this one for the keyboard and the other thing I wanted to show you is here down there that's groove music that's now even if it's called music, it's the media player. And especially you have the same uh, kind of features like you know it before and the same um, design, almost the same. And especially you should know if you want to switch, for example, here uh, to uh, the different sorting types, you have to do that with a, a blue uh, links over here. So you can have different genres or um, filters, whatever, uh, uh, or for example, here, A to Z alphabetical sorted. So this is nothing over here. Um, so you have to know this is on the top. So you have to switch back over here. And there you can change the, the um, sort range, the sort mode of that one here. So it's typical like on, on uh, uh, we know it from Microsoft, or for example, that you do not have any shortcut to the, to the equalizer. So there's nothing you can have here if you go to settings over there, that's music pass. So obviously Microsoft wants to sell music with that. So if you want to have to activate or deactivate or change the settings of your equalizer, you have to go manually to the settings, go to, um, uh, I guess, you see, I, I'm looking again. I guess it was personalization, sounds, uh, no, that's the ringtones. See, that's the trap I really hate about Microsoft's uh, Windows, mobile Windows 10, uh, because um, if you're not very familiar with that, you're looking all the way for your features. Where the hell can I find what? So somewhere here must be the um, notifications for the um, for for the for the equalizer. Now I want to know it, but of course you can see 
No, it's it's not there. Somewhere in the in the deep settings of Windows Mobile is the equalizer, but you can reach it not directly from the media player here, just uh, over settings like before. So these, um, are in in my opinion, very big disadvantages of Windows Mobile, uh, they do uh, not have changed anything about that. And, and that's very disappointing, in my opinion, at least. Uh, yeah, I want to show you, um, second of last, um, the uh, interface of the camera. That's what you know from Nokia Lumia camera, especially with this swipe gesture here, you can have all your manual settings done. It's not a parallel to um, uh, triggers here for video and photos. It's just first you have to change to photo mode to video mode, then it's starting. So you're losing some seconds. I don't know now why Windows is not having two parallel triggers here for photos and videos, but nevertheless, it's like it is. Let's go to this one. You know here expandable settings here, for example, flash is always here. You can expand here if you want to. There's no HDR, something like that. It's still um, here with this called bracketing. So you can have three or five photos made um, as a series with different uh, exposure times. And then afterwards you have to, you can reach great results with that, but you have to uh, post um, uh, production, post produce your photos on the PC or whatever. Uh, you cannot send them so that just plain regular HDR mode would have been better. So you can just upload your uh, HDR photo to uh, Facebook, for example, with just one click. So this is still missing too. And last of all, uh, something I wanted to show you, for especially for photos, videos, music. Um, if you want to upload, like I do, for example, with these test photos here, um, via USB from your PC. You know, it's a Type C, but the uh, uh, cable is coming uh, with the it's, out, it's in the box. So this is not the problem. But you have to be aware that you have to to um, to upload your photos to the device into the correct folders. Because if you do not upload your photos into the pictures folder, they won't appear here. Not manually, not automatically. They're out of any, uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, apps, uh, for example, here with the photos or videos or music. So um, like I did before, I didn't find my photos because I just um, have a a folder called review or test is another one. They didn't find that, especially music here was not there. So I have to switch that all um, uploaded, manually uploaded um, files are in the correct folders and then the uh, the apps are finding them. Just a tip uh, at the end, in case you should do that the same like me, like I did. Okay, well, I hope this is enough for a first impression of Windows 10 Mobile. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.